Virgo. Welcome back to White Crow Tarot. My name is Ebony. This is your healing tarot segment for the month of January 2021. Closing it out. And guys, I have to apologize. I'm sorry your video is late this month. I had some technical issues going on with my computer and recording software. Believe it or not, you guys already, I already had you and Pisces. I had two perfectly beautiful readings done for you. Went back to look at the footage and guess what? nothing there and I was or half of it was there and the other half of it was missing and I was like what happened so my apologies Virgo as we know life gets in the way in the meantime and I got to move on but I didn't want to end the month without getting a healing reading in for you so thank you all thank you for waiting thank you for being patient Thank you, current subscribers, for coming back and supporting the channel. New subscribers or new people, potentially. Give a like on this video if anything resonates with you. You know the rules. Take what resonates here, leave what does not. That is the only rule here. Today we're looking at the energy of your recent past, your current energy, and your future, Virgo. I'm clarifying for you today with the wild unknown to row. All right. Without further ado. In your recent past, Virgo, we have you, <laughs> Queen of Earth. You and Capricorn, respectively, Queen of Earth. <sighs> Some of you are, uh, this is a huge, tra it's been a transformative time for you, Virgo very transformative. I'm immediately drawn to the butterflies on her shoulder here and the butterflies of her eyes. Beautiful transformation. Some of you are expecting, I want to say, or thinking about. Now could be a very fertile time for you if you are thinking about conceiving. Some of you, I don't normally get this with the Queen of Earth, some of you could be pregnant. Um, but the Queen of Earth, you know, Mother, it is kind of a, it's a mothering nature, very stable, very firm, very nurturing. You're in a giving spirit. You've been in a giving spirit. For some of you, I'm also getting that in your recent past, you've been kind of closed off. Closed off to, she's kind of side-eyeing over her shoulder. You guys, and you're, and you're, and she's, again, faced away. Closed off from expressing. Very pure, but very kind of serene. I'm feeling like there's a sense of hesitancy with this, maybe worried about finances around this time, or it's been a, you know, due to everything going on in the world right now, there's been an issue over finances, stability, that kind of thing. And the Queen of Earth, you know, that's very much focused on home and stability, yes? So you guys, in your recent past, that's just been very heavily on your mind. In your current energy, we have the Ace of Air. The Ace of Air. The Unicorn. The Rainbow. The Ace of Air. New beginnings, new opportunities, new ideas are very fruitful for you right now. New, um, you're feeling very creative right now during this time of year. Just right now. You're feeling hopeful is what I want to tell you. The Unicorn. Hopeful, but not fantastic. You're a Virgo. You have to keep things very grounded. Your ideas, believe it or not, are very explosive, very ethereal. But you have to ground them in reality in some kind of a way, do you not? So what I want to tell you is in this, ver in this picture, we understand that, you know, we feature both a unicorn and a rainbow here. Only one of those technically is real, correct? <laughs> like rainbows exist, unicorns don't. So it's like 
But this, the unicorn, again, it's not the unicorns, or the pegasi, yeah, the pegasi, unicorn. But it's about, it's about embracing how otherworldly you are. It's about embracing, that, yeah, you do have fantastic ideas, literally fantastic ideas. That doesn't mean they're they're not real. They're real in your mind. Yes. You, this is just a very creative time for you. And I want to tell you to put your creative visions forward at this time. If you are feeling inspired to do so, we are going through a retrograde period right now. Just had the full moon in Leo and we're in Mercury retrograde now. So if you're feeling, I want to tell you if you're feeling stressed, if you're feeling antsy right now during this time, Virgo, take some time out for meditation just to quiet the mind if you notice energies around you people around you upset hectic for no reason it just like what is going on understand you know we're in retrograde right now energies everybody's feeling it feeling the energy that's why it's so important and i want to end the month with some kind of good uplifting positive healing energy for you before moving into february okay in your future Virgo, we have the King of Fire. Beautiful. <laughs> future? How future? I don't know. Again, timelines are kind of irrelevant here, guys. You know, this is tarot, but timeline is irrelevant. Stuff that's going on for you or that I'm painting the energy of right now, this could be recent past. This could all be current energy. Some of it, you know, may, may have happened to you a long time ago or may have yet to happen to you, but it's, I don't play future like that, but I do play positive intent. But this king of fire, I want to tell you that once you've kind of got this air energy sorted out, with the clarity that I know you want to bring back to your earth situations, the ideas, the pragmatic ideas that you want to ground in your reality, Get clear so that you can approach it with your fire passion, because you will be Virgo. Some of you, this king of air could have fire placements in your chart. I'm feeling heavy Leo with this, with the sun halo around the king of fire's head here. This is, this is a time of doing things passionately from your heart. It will be a time of doing things passionately from the heart space, and it's going to make you happy. This is wise intuition, wise fire, but the king of fire is also just willing to wait and be patient. The, he doesn't have to, he doesn't have to be showy with how passionate he is because it radiates from him. Literally the sun is radiating his crown. This is a state of pure bliss, knowing who he is. You will be in a state of be just being confident in who you are, Virgo. I love this energy for you, I really do. With, again, the butterflies of transformation over his eyes. It's beautiful. Because, again, you see, you're seeing clearly. I love it. I love it, Virgo. I really do. I'm almost, your readings before were, were really good, don't get me wrong, but I'm almost happy we get to read, I get to redo them for you. Because on the split, look what we've got going to work in a new direction, boo boo. Working. Yes, Virgo. Working passionately, projects, work, business, your own opportunities, your own creative ventures in a new direction. At the crossroads, which direction do you want to go in, Virgo? You're maybe asking yourself this right now. You're getting clarity. You could be at a distance from something. You could be moving. You're just getting clear about what you want so that you can put your passion towards. And I do believe one of, one of the last readings I did for you, where you were trying to put your energy into was a big concern for you. I can't remember if that was your, I think it was your career and finance reading, I want to say. 
Spirit, show me what I need to see, please, for Virgo. Let's paint the best, clearest clarification for Virgo. Show me the recent past, please. What are lessons that Virgo has learned? What are lessons that they've taken from their recent past? Show me clearly, please. Lessons for Virgo. What are lessons for Virgo during this time in their recent past? What have they learned? What have they learned from their recent past? Show me clearly. Jumper, please. Show me clearly for Virgo. Lessons for Virgo, please. Very good. Well, hold the phone. Okay, so I am going to hang on to this two of wands. Getting clear about going in a new direction. With <laughs> I was feeling them in my hand, but I wasn't quite sure. With the Eight of Pentacles and the Son of Cups, you're moving. Knight of Cups, you're moving, Virgo. You're moving towards your passion. Okay, this is all about creativity, learning how to recognize what this is. You have been at some indecision about what. Some of you have also been probably taking a break from work because you've had such a, a heavy amount on your plate, doing a lot, doing a lot. You took a, and then, you know, right over you. So I know this is in line with you because... You're really getting ready to put in a ton of work in a new direction, in a new passion. Some of you, again, son of cups, you know, this is walking towards it with your cup of love, swiftly, with love. Some of you are very intuitive during this time as well. Love it. Learning to get clear about what you want. That split wanted to come right out for you to just clarify. Yeah. Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck here. You needed to clarify and get clarity, okay, on where you've been trying to go. You've just been trying to figure that out. Why is the Ace of Air here? Show me hopes and fears for Virgo, please. Hopes and fears for Virgo. Hopes and fears for Virgo, please. What's been clogging this connection? Jump it, please. Thank you. I'm only reading uprights, by the way. In the rec in the current energy, you're wanting justice. Libra energy over justice. You're feeling justice could be also just getting clear. This is the justice that is bringing to you because you got clear. Okay. Justice. What's back in justice, please? Thank you. Yeah. Libra energy again, two of swords, because in the past you have been indecisive about what direction you want to go in. This is literally a lot of twos popping out for you, Virgo. Two, literally new direction, possibly physical travel, making the decision, going to work, and also mental travel, clarity. This has been a, a, a determining factor in decision. A lot of you are just feeling overwhelmed, I want to say. It's just been trying time, trying to figure out exactly what you want to do where you want to go, what's going to bring you the justice in all this situation and all this angst that you've been feeling. This doesn't have to be overwhelming, guys. Not all tarot readings have to be this dramatic thing, you know. This is all just energy. It's kind of, can of and sometimes just be the day-to-day -day thought process, you know, the day-to-day, -day, what do I want, you know? What tasks do I have to complete today? The higher font, right? What's my higher calling? Taurus energy. What's my higher calling right now? Am I going back to school? Am I getting higher education? If, am I thinking about love and partnerships? Do I want commitment? What am I thinking about? What do I want? What do you want, Virgo? Because you want to come at it with your with some fire passion. I got to say, king of fire. Wow. Wow. What does Virgo have to look forward to, please, Spirit? Show me clearly. What does Virgo have to look forward to? Show me clearly. Jumper, please, for Virgo. What does Virgo have to look forward to with this King of Fire energy? That is some heavy conviction right there. King of Fire. A little hesitancy. The decision, right? Communication. Expect that. Possibly... Eight days, eight weeks, communication. That's quick. That's swift. Some communication's coming in for you about what? What does Virgo have to look forward to, please? Show me clearly. What does Virgo have to look forward to? Jumper, please. 
What does Virgo have to look forward to, please? Come on. Let's dial out. Jumper, please, for Virgo. If you don't take it, I'm going to take it. Okay. The risk, yeah. Starting from zero. Starting over. You're starting over, Virgo. That's why the heavy indecision here. Aries energy, the fool. Starting over. Starting anew. Starting a new chapter. New beginning. The fool. That's literally a new beginning, guys. Taking the leap on yourself. What's backing the fool, please? What's backing the fool? Show me clearly. What's backing the fool, please? Clear jumper, please, for Virgo. Clear messages for Virgo, please. Uh -huh. Clear message for Virgo. I do feel a card over there. I'll tell you what you want. Yeah, Daughter of Pentacles. New opportunity. Page of Pentacles, new opportunity. Some of you, this is children. First thing that popped into my mind. Children taking a leap. For others, it's just, and again, Queen of Earth, very motherly figure, communication. Some of you really could be, listen, this could be communication. Eight, eight, important number for you. Daughter of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. It's a new opportunity. That's a new beginning. For some of you, that could quite literally be children. Starting from ground zero. Look, see, so we have this baby chick here. <laughs> Look, this baby chick here, baby duckling, and the daughter of Pentacles. This is a new beginning, Virgo. That's for some, not all, okay? Oh, wow. Wow. It's lovely. It's lovely energy, though. It's requiring you to be the leap. It's requiring you to go in a new direction, have a leap of faith, going to work. But Virgo, this is you, like, all day. This is you, <laughs> Eight of Pentacles, all day. You. Okay? You can handle it. You can handle it because it's not fantastic. It's real. It's real. It's you. Now you have two white light oracle cards I'm going to read for you. First one we have. Huh. Obadiah. Wow. I've actually never seen this card before. There are a lot that I have not seen actually coming out of this deck recently. And we also have Yogini of 285 Hertz. Yogini of 285 Hertz. I'm going to read both of these cards to you. That might be a good frequency tone for you to meditate to if you're into um, listening to any tones while you meditate or sleep. 285 hertz. Frequencies. Number three on 53. Obadiah. Obadiah. It says, do not turn away from your path nor from what you know in your heart to be true. <laughs> no matter what appears to be, nor what logic may dictate, trust what your heart is telling you. You are safe and protected by spirit. You are spiritually empowered with all you need to manifest your authentic soul path. You have what it takes to connect with the light and live that connection in practical ways which contribute positive energy to our human collective. If that is not a card for you, I don't know what is. If that doesn't help to kind of clarify everything we just talked about, I don't know what does. You tell me. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> you tell me. You tell me, Virgo. By the way, guys, I just wanted to note, if you have made it this far in the reading and have yet to leave a like on this video, please consider doing so now. It is greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel and considering subscribing, please do. It helps me to grow as a YouTuber, guys. It's helped me so I continue bringing you these awesome messages, which I really, really want to do. So, if you're feeling, you know, in the mood, did I miss it? 97. Not 197. 97. Yes. Maybe I am doing this wrong. <laughs> okay. 
Here we go. It's much appreciated, guys. Thank you. Yogini. Changes changes in your life, including closing doors or missed opportunities, are not going to derail your fulfillment. Realignments are happening based on divine wisdom and timing. You are being diverted from unnecessary obstacles and suffering. Trust in how your life path is unfolding. Stay true to your authentic healing journey because it is working. Whether you realize that or not, significant inner healing is taking place. Yogini. Do you practice those meditations, guys? Possibly at that hurt frequency? That may be healing to you. Your final healing card, Virgo. Beautiful. Positive action. Take in this light for just a second. It's purple, violet light. It's about your third eye, your intuition. I focus on the beauty in me, and I find silence. I live and honor the present by doing what I can do now. What I cannot change, I let go and entrust to the universe. Guys, Virgo, again, because you are so late, I'm doing a couple of extra things for you right now. This is a new deck. It's a ask your angels any kind of questions. So have a question in mind right now, Virgo, for yourself. It could be in regards to a work. It could be in regards to a person. I'm going to pull three cards. Okay. In regards to a person, something you may want to know, a question you've been asking for a long time. Think about that right now. Have that in mind. Okay. For your past. Show me what I need to see, please. One card for Virgo. If one card doesn't jump out, I'm going to pull one. One card for Virgo. For the recent past, please, Spirit. Have that question in mind right now, Virgo. See if I can get an answer for you. Feel you. We have Don't Stop. Oh. Don't Stop. In your recent past, don't stop. In your current energy, show me clearly. Current energy for Virgo. Have that question, your second question in mind, Virgo. You can pause the video if you need to. Okay. Show me clearly. Thank you. Yeah, forgiveness. Forgiveness. This falls in line kind of with that justice card. If you were seeking justice over something that didn't serve you back here, which is the reason why you're making this drastic change. Forgiveness. In the future, taking a new leap in a new direction with a new opportunity and a king of fire. Have your th final question in mind, Virgo. What's your final Final question for Virgo. Final answer for Virgo. Thank you. We have... Choose a new direction. I'd say that's kind of what you're doing, Virgo. <laughs> Alright, guys. Final thing. I haven't done this in a while, and I'm honestly looking very forward to doing it. So, I'm going to pull a trinket for you. Okay. Right, you got two. Three. Because this one is stuck on my finger right now. And don't want to come off. It's like a male wedding band doesn't matter. Genders are relevant. It's a wedding band. Or a ring. It could be commitment. Who knows? 
It didn't want to come off them, and it shot right at my finger as soon as I dug in. We also have <laughs> my Energizer battery. Get energized. Like that king of fire back there. Take this time to recharge is also what I want to tell you. Take this time to rest and recharge. Meditate. Again, meditation I think is really going to be helpful for you guys right now. Recharge. Because you got some work to do, honey, with your Jedi mind tricks. This is a lightsaber. I know you can't tell it's a lightsaber, but it is. It's a lightsaber. It's Anakin's lightsaber. And it's telling you you're going to be working some Jedi mind tricks here soon, Virgo. If you're not already. <laughs> Virgo, this was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was worth the wait. Please let me know. Give this video a like if anything in here resonated with you. Let me know down in the comments. Subscribe if you are new. Guys, I really do appreciate it. It helps me to grow as a YouTuber. Helps me to continue bringing free energy to you, which I love to do. So, I do appreciate it. Virgo, thanks for coming back. I will see you very soon. I'm spending the entire weekend recording, so very soon. Oh, I've got some new readings coming out for February. Okay. In the meantime, enjoy the Force. <laughs> Happy new beginning, Virgo. Happy healing. Love you guys. Talk soon.